Welcome to Tech Talk. Today's topic is GitOps, the single source of truth for deploying your code to production in a Kubernetes environment. And today I'm joined by Brad Tobel, who's going to explain some of the tools that you can use to make that happen. The first of which is probably familiar to most is Tecton. And the other, which Brad is going to introduce us, is called Argo CD. Can you explain how these two are going to play together? Absolutely. Uh, so let's first look at what Tecton gives us. If you look at Tecton, it's got two main pieces. It's got tasks and pipelines. Right. And so what happens is we have these reusable tasks, and these are steps like clone a repository, run unit tests, build and deploy an image. And Tecton allows you to take those reusable tasks and compose them into pipelines, and those pipelines do all the stages of CICD and can even deploy to production. Great, okay, so that makes it so you can simplify your deployments and save a lot of time, not having with manual steps. Absolutely. Okay, and so how does Argo come in? How does it help with Tecton? Well, the nice thing about Argo CD is it's a pull-based model. So with Tecton, it's a push-based model, but Argo CD is one, a pull-based model, and it's declarative. So just like Kubernetes is declarative, you declare everything, um, Argo CD allows you to, to put your, your YAML files, your configuration in a, in, a, in a Git repository and declare what you want to happen. And Argo CD, uh, so it's going to pull things from your repo, right? Um, and then it's also going to have a little Kubernetes cluster. Sure, okay, I got it. Right? So you've got these two models. You can use Tecton all the way up to the step of, of building and deploying an image and putting an image in a registry. And then you can take all your configuration files, put them in a Git repo, and all you got to do with Gar Argo CD is point it at the Git repo and point it at a Kubernetes cluster, and it's going to do the rest. So let me play that back to you. See, in Tecton, essentially, when I put out my declarations, that's what actually cause, causes the deployment to occur. But in this case, you're saying Argo CD is actually monitoring my declaration inside the repo itself and then resynchronizing it. Did I get that right? Yeah, absolutely did. It's, it's going to look for what's in that, uh, that Git repo with your deployment files and it's going to look at what's running in production and it's going to make sure that what runs in production matches the source of truth, which is what those YAML files are in that uh, Git repository. Fair enough, but I'm a developer. I'm kind of curious. Is this something that I need to be worried about, or is that something that's on the ops, Pum is more ops focused, or is it both? It's really both. If you put the two tools together, uh, it's making everyone's life simpler, right? So we're doing the best of breed to build up and create and publish an image, and then we're doing the best of breed of being able to understand that your Git repository is, is, a, is, is a source of truth, and so, um, you know, being able to do a GitOps model in a declarative fashion. And what's nice about this is if somebody comes in and makes changes inside the cluster, Argo CD is going to see those changes, realize that the configuration is not matching the source of truth, and it's going to change things. It's going to update the, what's running in the production cluster to ensure it matches the source of truth. I got it. So if I already have an existing deployment using Tecton and I want to introduce Argo CD, what are the steps involved? What do I need to do? Right. So there's not much you need to do. So we need to drop off the last step, and this is really nice. So the last step would typically be using kube control to then push your application into a Kubernetes cluster. And understand with kube, with kube control, you're going to have to set some credentials and set up the security so that you know your automated system has the authority to publish into the Kubernetes environment. You don't have to do that. You don't need to know kube control and you don't have to set up those credentials because what Argo CD is going to do is it's not going to use kube control. It's going to look at what's in the repo and it's going to pull those configuration files and uh, understand what it needs to deploy in the cluster. Now the one thing you have to look out for is Argo CD is you typically have two repos. You've got the repo for the YAML files and the repo for the source code. So the source code for my actual applications, and then the, for the infrastructure, I have a separate one, as you're saying. You've, you've got a yeah, separate repo for the actual source code and a separate repo for those YAML files that control the deployment of your applications. Okay, and so where are the payoffs for this? Have I gone through this trouble? How does it make my life easier? Um, so how it makes your life easier, again, you're not going to have to learn all those kube control commands. You're not going to have to worry about that. 
if somebody goes into the environment and makes some changes, Argo CD is going to make sure that those changes are rolled back and the source of truth is... Oh, you're there. saying, for example, like an operator goes and accidentally does something thinking they're going to fix it, right? That's right. Um, you can sleep well at night because if that operator who thinks they know what they're doing goes and makes some changes, Argo CD is going to see that that's not what in the source of truth, and that's really the best part of GitOps, right, is making sure your Git repository is the source of truth. And so if it's not the source of truth and they make some changes, it's going to update what's running in your cluster to match what's in the Git repo. I'm all for sleeping better at night. And with that, we're going to go ahead and wrap. We've now told you what it is, why it's important, how it works. If you'd like to see more topics for Tech Talk, be sure and leave it down in the comments. And please, before you leave, remember to subscribe and hit like.